we're back. Okay, well, we're back. Um, great news. Uh, the road is plowed up top, as you saw when I was coming in. So that's that's really good news. We no longer have to try and find a parking spot down below and um, walk up the hill to get in. Um, I was planning on trying to shovel a path. Um, I mean, right now, the snow is very icy, so that might make it pretty hard, so I think I might skip that. Um, I know I wanted to shovel the, uh, get the deck cleared off, but yeah, I don't know. I might have to wait till this afternoon to do that when uh, things warm up and it melts a little bit. Um, I do want to shovel the steps coming in, as you saw me coming in. That's very sketchy, especially as it gets icier, so I will do that no matter what. Um, I'm gonna check the mouse traps. Um, I have some measuring I need to do. I need to measure the outside panels of the house so I can find the right replacements for some of the ones that are rotted out. I want to measure underneath our um, deck because we we bought a, uh, a generator. So when the power goes out, we will be able to still have power. And I'm going to be building a quiet box for the generator so we don't annoy um, the neighbors because that sucker is pretty loud um i think i was gonna measure our sliding glass door i forgot my list um at home so yeah there's a couple of things i have to measure it'll come back to me and then i wanted to try and get at least another wall done in the bedroom of removing wallpaper and I think that's that's it, because I don't know when I'm going to be uh, coming back. Next weekend is Mother's, or not Mother's Day, Valentine's Day. And then the following weekend, uh, my brother-in-law and my niece are coming over uh, to hang out for a little bit. So the next two weekends, I don't know if I'm going to actually even get here. So I wanted to come and make sure I get something done. All right, let's get to it. First off, the mouse traps. Hey, what are you doing? All right, let's start off with the kitchen traps. Thankfully, 
the one on the counter there has not gone off. I don't know if I really want to leave it there just because it, I don't want to, if I do catch one, I don't want a dead mouse sitting on our, our counter for however long. Um, you know, I'm not here. But I do think I see two little mouse poops. Uh, the one, I think that was there last time. And the one over here, I didn't look, so I don't, I don't really remember. Um, let's check this one on the floor. Now, first let's, let's get these out. Get a little bit more light. I really want to replace this light here. Um, if anything, at least just the internals of it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not, I can't tell if it's, I don't feel anything in there, so. If it did, nah, there's nothing in there. I'm not even sure the battery is uh, working. Yeah, I think the battery's too low. But I did bring batteries this time, so I'll fix it. And I do think I see a mouse poop down here. So, I think I do see activity, but didn't catch anything yet. All right, let's check the closet. Now I think I'll be off to uh, shovel on that uh, walkway. Moment of truth. Trap number one in the closet is clear. Let me get you some more light. So one is clear. That was too bright, huh? There. All right, both traps are clear. All right, well, at least I don't have to clean out any traps. I wasn't looking forward to having to do that. So I um, guess that's a plus. Um, I just hope we don't see any more activity, but um, yeah. All right, let's get to shoveling that, uh, those steps. It's pretty nice, got a nice wide, and it's a little overexposed, huh? I don't know if you guys can tell here, but it's nice and wide right here. And I cleared the whole walkway, so it's open. It's kind of nice, relaxing, you know, work. Just listen to some music and shovel away. Definitely a workout. So yeah, now we can easily get in and out. So, I think it's time to go remove some uh, wallpaper. Get 
started. Here we go. paper so I'm gonna dig out to our water spigot here so we can turn on water if we need to and then I'm gonna shovel out the snow to the entrance to the woodshed so uh, we can get more wood because it's getting a little low and if I keep on coming up here I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to get more more wood so I guess Cue the time lapse. Okay, so I shoveled out here to the shed, to the wood shed, and checking inside. I don't know if you can see it, but that board there, crossbeam is bending big time. So I am, actually it was even more, but I've taken a little bit of the snow off. So that's what I'm doing now here on the ladder is I'm trying to shovel off some of the snow here on the top so that uh, take some of the load off of this, uh, this woodshed. I really don't want to go in there and tell some of this weight is off because you don't know that thing could come down on you. Yeah, but we do have access now to the to the water right there. So, yep, I'm gonna continue working on this shed here. You can get down. Right there. Into that way. Come on. Over here. Remember the way you came? There you go. Whoa, it's deep. Oh, yeah, that's the best way to do it. All right. Got it. All off. I don't have to check inside to see if it's any better, but it should be. Hopefully. Go back inside, maybe try and do a little bit more wallpaper, and then I think take some measurements and 
and I'll probably go home. I think I'm going to leave earlier today, not stay as long. All right, let's get to it. So I took my measurements inside already, measured the stove, um, countertops, what else? The big windows out front, or that look over our little forest area. I measured the sliding door. I remeasured the master bedroom. Um, so I do think it'll handle a queen size bed, which is good. Um, measured our banister. Well, we don't really have one, but kind of our whatever we have, I measured it, and it's definitely not the correct height so that will have to be redone and readjusted so now i'm outside i'm gonna measure our boards here so now it's about i think it's like seven inches i think the most i've seen i think what i've been seeing online is like a five or six but um, yeah i'm gonna have to not sure if they carry this at Lowe's or Home Depot. And actually, I'll have to go to a, a lumber yard for it, I guess. Let's take a picture of that. Now I'm gonna go down um, below the deck and measure to see if um, our generator, our generator, and the the quiet box for it will fit underneath there. Hopefully it will because that's the most ideal spot. Um, and we could leave it there too. Um, anywhere else, I mean, I was thinking about maybe putting it back up there by the woodshed, but then I have to run a cable down and over to the box that's right over here. So, and then I wouldn't, um, run it off of our propane because um, then I have to run propane all the way over there. So here is the most logical spot in my mind because I'm assuming the propane enters and you know, it was right underneath, runs underneath the house here. And then um, so we could just come in, you know, run a line out through where these other pipes are, and then we could just run a cable up underneath the deck, and I think there's just like a little bore that's over there by the concrete pad, um, and I think those are wires going up to the panel too, so to me this makes the most sense, and then as you can see, if there is even a big heavy snow, we can still access the generator. Um, and then where those boards are, that used to, I don't know if you can see it, but there. We used to, from our basement here, we used to be able to access, open this door here and access the bottom side of our deck because um, the previous deck um, is actually enclosed on the bottom side. So, and there's um, valves for like the valves for the sprinklers and stuff right there. All right, let's see. I still want to build a bigger deck, but... Look at that, I mean, it's just like... Whoa! It's just like it's already sp splitting here. work. I mean, it didn't even, didn't even nail it. It's just, you just put it through the hole. I mean, there's a nail there, but still. Grandpa is rolling in his grave. Okay. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I see an electrical box back there. So up there, I think where that junction box is, um, I believe that's where that board is because that's the patio right there. I believe we could uh, run power to the to the breaker up there. 
All right. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. Here, right here, is a concrete um, cement. I don't know. I did, so, but it's right there. So maybe they built that up with wood there. Um, but back here, I don't know if you can tell. Over here. There you go. That's like uh, stone. So then way further back there is like wood boards. It looks like they're covering something. I'm not sure. So I guess I could always dig out a little bit of the ground here. Let's see, let's do that. Four foot. Yeah, four foot, two and a half inches. Those pipes aren't wrapped. I think I was going to do four foot by four foot by four foot by four foot. Okay, so it's going to take up the majority of the space underneath here. So four foot here. Yeah, so I'm going to have to dig out a little bit. Just fine, not much. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my exhaust out here. So it'll come out and then go up. Um, so it'll stay out there. Um, my only issue is, can't remember where the air intake is, but the air intake is on this side, which I think it might be, can't remember. No, maybe it's not. But it, anyways, if it's on this side, I'm a little concerned because it's not as open over here, so trying to get in um, more air. Um, might be a problem. I think I'm ready to go home. A little bit earlier this time. That'll be nice. You know, Isabel wanted to come with me. She's like, Daddy! Well, first off, I told her, I was like, I'm gonna go work on the cabin tomorrow. And she was like, Daddy, can I come too? I was like, what are you gonna do? She's like, well, I'll help you. I wanna help you. Now I would love that, but you know, her help lasts two to five minutes. So, and I can't watch her while I work. So unfortunately, I had to leave her behind, but someday soon. Till next time, I'll see ya. Bye.